are we at now? We're at uh, Johnstown High School, the high school of champions in western Pennsylvania. So I'm going to give you a quick quick tour of the building. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. All right. So let's go. Now check this out, everybody. This man has the keys. Keys to the building. Wow. Talk about pull, right? <laughs> We've had tons of people who've been first team all state throughout the 130 years of Johnson High School, but when we built this school, we started a new wall, just the, the kids who've gone to this school. So the kid on the far left, David Estanich, he currently plays Division I football at Florida International down in uh, Miami, Florida. Good possibility he could be a, an NFL draft pick next year. The next guy is Antoine Reed who just concluded his career with the Pitt Panthers, and he's now playing for the Cleveland Browns mm -hmm. in the NFL. Uh, the middle guy is Scott Corson, he played for the Pitt Panthers. Um, the next guy is LeRon Stevens Howland, who plays for, right now for the Arizona Cardinals. He actually scored the winning touchdown last year to beat the Dallas Cowboys on Monday Night Football. And the other guy is Kurt Hoffman, who was a first-team All-State basketball player. So just in nine years, we've got two guys in the NFL and another one on the way. Uh, we have a, we have a full-time trainer who's here full-time to take care of our kids. I mean, you can see you got a whirlpool, you know, ultrasound machines, you know, every medical thing you could possibly th use or think of. We have we have, we have a full guy who's here. It's his sole job is to take care of our kids, just like a, a an NFL team would have a you know a, a full-time trainer. We got one as well, so helps keep our kids healthy and safe. And that that turf is brand new. It just it, it just got put in in uh, in June. So we can walk a little closer. Yeah, we had turf before, but every couple years, every nine or ten years, you replace it. Yeah. So it's it's brand spanking new, man. I mean that stuff is it's beautiful, man. Yeah, I mean, with the big Trojan head in the middle of the middle of the field, it's beautiful. Yeah. Now that's a football field. <laughs> Not too shabby for a high school. No. For a high school, it's pretty sharp. Beats mine by a mile. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the, 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 the track is brand new. They just put that down, I think, in the last week. And so. Yeah. Some in state of the art lockers. Good saying. <laughs> First, one. We'll wait right here. I'll turn the light. Go turn the light on. Oh, this is the weight room. You got all state-of-the-art equipment here, right? <laughs> yeah. Check this out, huh? Yeah, I mean, we have everything with kettlebells and free weights and machines and you know, old-school uh, medicine balls and plyo boxes. And... Far Cry from 76 Jefferson High School. <laughs> they were the first to get state-of-the-art Nautilus equipment. And I, I Check like this the, out. I like the saying up above the door there, too. Yeah. Yeah, pretty sharp. Nice.
Well, when they filmed all the right moves here at Johnstown High School, this actually was the locker room back in the day. So the door you see there was where the team would come out for practice when they were filming the, the practice. And they'd all come down this set of steps right here. And one of the famous scenes from the film is Tom Cruise standing right here arguing with Craig T. Nelson, who was the actor who portrayed the head coach. Now this wasn't here from here down, uh, but uh, you get the idea that, yeah, this was the, the, the one area in the movie that you see quite a bit, the kids coming out to practice. And, and the football field was back there. It's no longer there now. So.